is like you pass the guard, you get to the side, and they usually frame off your back so you can't move up their body. Because your ultimate goal is to get the elbows and arms up here so you can, you can get the side control. So I'm here like this. One, one thing that I have to do right away is I have to block his legs. Because if I don't, and my hand's here, he's going to push my head through and get a reverse triangle on me. Yeah, like that. I don't want that. That's bad news. So I, I frame right here on his leg. And my hips right here, I feel his frame. It's strong. What I like to do to stop this is I raise my hips up and I come down on top of it. Now, look what I just did. I cleared this whole opening for me. Now from here, there's a lot of stuff I can do. The main thing is, is I have side control on it. I can go to paper cutter, I can go to mount. The main thing is, is I got rid of these frames. And whenever his, his arms get right here to his shoulders, all his leverage is taken away. His leverage is right here. It's not here. And my goal is to get it high up on here. So he's framing, I'm framing off his leg. I come up and down. I'm coming up and down. And a lot of times, see his hip coming up? I know he's uncomfortable. That's how he releases the tension of his shoulders by lifting up the, the hips. So I'm always looking at his hips. Peter block, he's framing. I get underneath the elbow, I come up, and I slide down. And now I'm connected. Look at those hips. Sorry, Albert. Good. And now switch. There's a lot here to play with. But that's just the basic to, to slide up the body. You guys see that all right? Yes, all right, let's do it, guys. Thank you, Albert. One, two, three.